All right, so the video today is really easy. The only thing we're going to do is uh, install a virtual console game and then transfer it to the SD card. Um, the reason being is because I do mod people's Wii's locally. Uh, some of them don't know how to do it. Uh, you know, a lot of us do. A lot of us, you know, we've we've modded the Wii's so we know exactly what to do when it comes to installing stuff uh, and how to transfer it and what exactly to do. But like I said, others don't. So we'll go ahead and get into it really quick. Um, when you get a Wii from me, it's going to have everything that this Wii right now has. Uh, if you get it around the time right now that I'm doing Wiis, it's going to be damn near identical. It's going to have all of the uh, NES Classic games over here. Um, now we're running off of a one gigabyte SD card here, so uh, we have a little bit of room to work with, but not a whole lot. Uh, still, we've got quite a bit of content here, so. Let's go ahead and get started. So make sure the uh, WAD file is on your SD card, obviously. Go ahead and go up to uh, Multi-Mod Manager, which, again, every Wii that I uh, mod or sell will have this installed. All right, so go on down to uh, WAD Manager. Now, the game that I'm installing here is uh, going to be Kirby and the Crystal Shards 64. Oops, went right past it. So, as you can see, it's already got uh, Kirby's Adventure for the Nintendo on here. The alternate is because some Wiis do not like this first one, so it gets the second one and the first one. Uh, anyways, enough of that. Let's go ahead and install. All right, so let's go ahead and hit the home button, and then hit the home button again. Go ahead and exit to the system menu. All right, so there is our game. Now, like I said before, we do have a one gigabyte SD card here. It is pretty much full, so we might not be able to transfer it. If that is the case, I will delete a couple that um, this person will not need. So let's go ahead, go into the Wii options, data management, and then channels. Click on it and click move. Now we'll see if this works or not. Yep, not enough free space. All right, so we flow, we really don't need that on here as uh, he will be using USB loader GX. Same thing with the uh, Neo Gamma channel. Not sure that's going to make enough room. It is definitely not. We'll just go ahead and delete this one as well. Since deleting this will then allow us to install a couple more. Alrighty, now it will take a little bit to install.
a lot of these N64 games take uh, quite a bit of time to transfer, so it's completely normal. Alrighty, so the data has now been moved to the SD card. We can now hit the back button and uh, exit out back to the home screen. Now once we're on the home screen to play those games that you've installed to your SD, you just click the SD card icon down here in the bottom left corner right next to the uh, Wii option. And so that's what we have installed right now. Now we're able to install a couple more because we do still have uh, about 100 blocks open. So we can fit some more Super Nintendo games on there since, uh, like I said, we're running off a 1 gigabyte SD card. So there's not a whole lot of room for ROMs. Um, so yeah, but that's the video. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. That's all I wanted to cover was just how to... Uh, transfer games to your SD card for those that are not as tech-savvy uh, tech as most of us. So, yeah. If you uh, liked the video, go ahead, like it, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, any problems, uh, feel free to comment. Let me know what's going on. Thanks for watching, guys.